Hey guys, Video Edge back here and today we're taking a dive into the wonderful world of sulfuric acid in Sandship. Now sulfuric acid is one of the most difficult materials to craft in the game and it's one that a lot of people are having problems with so we're going to share with you today our method of producing sulfuric acid in your micro factory. We've got a really good production output here and we're going to take you through step by step so you know exactly how to build this in the future. So with that being said, let's get straight into our sandbox building and get this design crafted. Now one of the reasons sulfuric acid is so difficult is because you need to craft water. So in order to create water we're going to need three synthesizers. So we're going to start off by placing one synthesizer in the top right hand corner here and then a further two just a little bit below. We're going to need two parts hydrogen, one part oxygen. So the very two external synthesizers we're going to change to hydrogen and the very centre one is going to be our oxygen. We're also going to need four chemical mixers and we're going to put them in a sort of box formation and that's going to give us four outputs of water which is going to be plenty for this build. We're going to connect them up with the pipes. You've got to use pipes guys. Normal belts won't work and in order to get the water over to the other side of the factory we're going to use some underground pipes. like so. Now once we've got our underground pipes in place we can then connect the two sets of pipes together and we're also going to need an outlet for our sulfuric acid once it's ready so we're going to use another set of underground pipes in the center here and then a final underground pipe right down to the bottom. Now in order to turn this water into sulfuric acid we're going to need some open pipes along with some grabbers to put the sulfur powder in so let's start placing them down in the positions as so and we're also going to need two sets of belts so there's a plentiful supply of sulfur powder getting to those grabbers. Now that's it for the top half of the build guys. We're now going to move on to the sulfur powder and to do that we're going to put a synthesizer right at the bottom here and then follow that up with a fast splitter followed by a few normal splitters so we've got a good supply of sulfur powder going into those grabbers. We've also got a little bit of space at the bottom here next to the synthesizer so we're going to use two sets of long grabbers either side to provide a couple extra channels of sulfur powder just to get the most output that we possibly can out of this build. Now in order to turn that sulfur into sulfur powder we're going to need some crushers so let's start to put them along the top of these splitters and belts here just like so and we can then start to connect these crushers up to the other sets of belts we've already put down. In order to get a nice even split, we're going to use an underground belt to get the very left hand side production over to the right so we have that nice spread. That's the sulfur powder completed guys. We're now moving on to the glass bottle production. We're going to need some glass bottles to export it into our transit van and this is just going to be the usual glass bottle production. We're going to split these off, heat them up, turn them into glass tubes, and then into glass spheres before finally heating up again and create our glass bottles. Now in order to put this all together we're going to need an applier and that will be responsible for combining both the glass bottles and the sulfuric acid before we finally export them. Now you might have noticed we've left a little bit of space next to this pipe here and that's just enough to connect the sulfuric acid up through another set of underground pipes into the applier. Now we're going to give this a whirl to make sure it works and we can see here we're making 0.52 sulfuric acid per second. This is a really good amount for a micro factory so if you are short on space on your sand ship this is a really good design to include in your factory setup and it's going to ensure you've got a nice steady supply of sulfuric acid for whatever we're going to need them for in the future parts of the game. Now because of the presence of underground pipes and underground belts we won't be able to export this without the game crashing so we will need to remove those before saving the design and then implementing into our factory. We can see here it's a quite a good amount of money 112k but we are using a lot of expensive materials here so it is to be expected. So let's import this design into our micro factory now and so let's give this a whirl and we can see that sulfuric acid start to fill up really nicely in our transit capacity ready to be used elsewhere. We hope this design has helped you guys out. If you do have any questions please leave them in the comments below as usual. 
But until next time, thanks for watching and bye bye.